A teacher randomly chooses a two-person team from a group of four students. The first person chosen will be the presenter, and the second person will be the researcher. Two of the students, Amir and Aaron, are boys. The other two students, Caitlin and Denise, are girls. All the possible outcomes of the team selections are listed, are all the possible outcomes of the team selection are listed below. And actually, I just put it to the right, right over here. And you see all of the possible outcomes. Here's, here we see on the presenter, here's three outcomes where Amir is a presenter. And then in each of those three, you essentially have each of the other three people being a potential researcher, Aaron, Caitlin, or Denise. Here, these outcomes four through six, Aaron is a presenter. And then you have the other three people being the, the potential, being the researcher. And then you see all the situations for Caitlin, Caitlin with Amir, Caitlin with Aaron, Caitlin with Denise. And then you have all the situations where Denise is the presenter. Denise presenter, Amir researcher. Denise presenter, Aaron researcher. Denise presenter, Caitlin researcher. Fair enough. Then they tell us, if we take outcomes 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, which they marked in red right over here, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 11, as a subset of the sample space, which of the options describe this subset? All right, let's read these and think about which of these describe the subset. And I encourage you to pause the video and think about this on your own before I work through them. So this first option, and we, could, we might be able to select more than one of these, the subset is comprised of all the outcomes where the team is made up of one boy and one girl. So let's see. This is, th these are, both of these are the outcomes where you have Amir, paired up with a girl. There's two possible girls that Amir could be paired up with. Amir is a presenter, and one of the girls is researchers. So there's two outcomes here. Here's Aaron as a presenter, and then and there's two scenarios where he's paired up with a girl, either Caitlin or Denise. So these first four, outcomes two, three, five, and six, these are the situations where we have a, bo a boy presenter paired, all the different scenarios where we have a boy presenter paired with a girl researcher. That's these four outcomes. And now let's look at outcomes seven and eight. This is where you have Caitlin as a presenter paired with a boy researcher. And this is Denise as a presenter, outcomes 10 and 11, with a boy researcher. So outcomes seven, eight, 10, 11 are all the situations where you have a girl presenter and a boy researcher. So taken together, this is a subset of all the outcomes where the team is made up of one boy and one girl. And you could see that all of the other, all of the other scenarios involve either two boys or two girls. Here's two boys, these are two boys, here's two boys, here are two girls, and here are two girls right over here. Let's look at the other options. The subset is comprised of all the outcomes where the team is made up of either all boys or all girls. No, the, every scenario here is one boy or one girl, one boy, or one boy and one girl. So we can rule this one out. The subset is comprised of all the outcomes where the team is not made up of all boys and not made up of all girls. So not all boys and not all girls. And I think that's right, because if you were to say, let's, let's take the, the subset where we're not all boys, well, then you would rule out this one, this one, and well, those two. And if you were to rule out not all girls, you would rule out that one and that one. And the subset is made up of all of the things left over. So the subset is comprised of all the outcomes where the team is not made up of all boys and not made up of all, and not made up of all girls. So all of these, so let me check that one off as well. The subset is comprised of all the outcomes where the team has a girl as a presenter and a boy as a researcher. Well, we see, that's true for seven, eight, 10, and 11, but that is not true, that is not true for outcomes two, three, five, and six. In those outcomes, you have a boy as the presenter and a girl as a researcher. So this, the, what they've described here, where the team has a girl as a presenter and a boy as a researcher, this is a subset of the subset we're talking about, but the subset is not comprised only of this. It's comprised of this and scenarios where a boy is a presenter and a girl is a researcher. So I would click these first two.